Hey guys, Dale here, back with another RimWorld how-to. Uh, today I wanted to talk to you guys about how I uh, back up my games. Uh, I personally keep uh, an archive of pretty much every playthrough that we've ever had on, on the channel. Uh, so I keep that on an external drive. You can see here we have like Arwen Den, we have Deserters, we have Ram Effect, uh, we have a bunch of stuff. But let me show you from scratch how we'll get started. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to set up a location for your archive. And so I just threw a new folder down on my desktop. We're calling it RimWorld Archive. We're in the middle of our MechHive Priya playthrough right now. And so I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call it MechHive Priya. And then I'm also going to save um, some default configs that I use for pretty much every playthrough, and I'll save those separately. And this is so that I can just like bring those config files back into future playthroughs and I don't have to worry about uh, making changes to mods and things. Okay, so now that we have our folders set up, let's go ahead and hit options in RimWorld. So we have the save data folder, and if you've ever like backed up your save files, you're probably pretty familiar with this already. You can click that to open it, and you have all your saves here. You can see I have a bunch of test saves as new arrivals, my Priya start, and then a save pretty much for every episode. Sometimes I forget to do it. And pretty much where we're at with auto saves, right? If you back up one folder, so we're in the saves folder right now, if you go up, you end up in the RimWorld by Ludian Studios uh, folder. You can also just get straight there by going to the log file folder. It's the same thing. Our save files are right here. Okay, so we have that. Let's open up our RimWorld archive folder. And for the most part, I'm gonna, to back things up, I'm just gonna save everything that's in here. Um, and I'm also going to make a couple folders in the MechHive Priya folder. So I'm going to say um, RimWorld folder. And then I'm also going to say mods because I, I want to take a current snapshot of our current mods and keep those as well. And then I usually do like gallery and this is where I'll store like progress renders. So all of that stuff ends up sitting all together in the MechHive Priya folder uh, in my archive. So in my RimWorld folder, I'm just gonna take all of these, I'm gonna copy them, uh, copy, and then we're gonna paste them. Okay, so we backed up our RimWorld folder. Uh, the next thing that we wanna do is back up our mods folder. And this might be um, in slightly different locations based on your operating systems, based on how you've installed it. I have it pinned right here, uh, 294100. That is my Steam Apps Workshop content. This is all the downloaded content from the Steam Workshop. Um, so for me, it's in Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, Workshop, Content, 294100. And this is straight just like downloaded from the Steam Workshop. Let's go ahead and we'll open up the mod folder over here in our archive. Um, when I do a playthrough, once I'm set on my mod list, I always take all of these mods and make a local copy of them. Uh, so if they get updated and, or anything like that, uh, disappear from the workshop, uh, my playthrough will not be impacted by that. And so I have that listed right here. Uh, it's pinned. Uh, and this is going to be where your like RimWorld is actually installed. Um, so not, not in the Steam Workshop. This is for me in Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, RimWorld, and then Mods. Uh, if we go up one folder to the RimWorld folder, you can see here's like the core data for the game uh, and all that fun stuff. Uh, and so you can see here some of these mods have been renamed and that's because if I make any kind of edits to a mod uh, for a particular playthrough, then I will go ahead and add the name or something that lets me know which mod that is. 
Uh, and this lets me know that, okay, I've made some kind of tweaks to these mods. I've personalized these mods for myself. And that's the version of the mod that I want to go ahead and save. So I'm just going to select all of those. And then I am going to copy and paste them over here. And we're not going to watch that whole thing. Uh, we'll just like let that happen in the background. What I do want to do is we have saved our RimWorld folder. We've saved our mods. I want to show you what kind of things I would put in the default configs folder. Um, so we'll open that up. And what we're actually going to do is we're going to go to the log file folder. So here in the log folder, file folder, there is this folder that says config. And if we pop this open, it's going to look like a lot of junk is in here. Um, there are a couple things that are probably a little important. Um, so where do we go? This guy. Okay. Default configs. This is our backup. Uh, key prefs. Key prefs, this is um, if you've made any changes to hotkeys. So in the game, if you have set different hotkeys than the default, um, or maybe you've added mods that um, have changed some hotkeys and, and you've adjusted those, um, that's where that data is stored is right in here. So that's something that if you're making those changes, you probably don't want to have to make them every single time. Um, and or you know, if you uninstalled and reinstalled the game, uh, you could copy this folder or this file and reinsert it into your game, and you wouldn't have to make those changes manually. So we're going to make a copy of that. The other one that you probably want to keep a copy of is this prefs folder or file. Um, these are XML files, so we'll copy and paste that in here. Prefs is basically like... All these settings right here um, so if you've made changes to your resolution if you've like tweaked your audio settings um, all that stuff is stored in that prefs file um, so we have effectively made a backup of that and oh why do I have so many folders open and so now if something were to happen to our configs uh, we would we would have backups of those uh, another thing that you might take a look at is you might look through here and see, is there a mod that has some configuration settings um, that I would like to save? Um, is there, are there mods that you use a lot, right? And so here you'll have, it'll say it's a mod, it'll have the workshop ID number for that mod, and then usually the mod title. Um, sometimes this can be a little hard to interpret. So like tweaks galore is really easy to find. Um, if I were struggling to find it and I knew that there were config settings for it that I wanted to preserve, I could go to the workshop and I can type in tweaks galore. Uh, I can find the one that I'm subscribed to. I'm subscribed to the 1.5 version, but we'll just like check those. Okay, and it's right here. And up here in the URL, um, the ID, the mod ID for this is this number right here. So we can copy that. We can paste it in here. And if this were named something a little less obvious, like instead of saying tweaks galore, maybe it was like TG um, and you weren't sure, uh, this would be a way for you to confirm that like, oh, this is the config file for that mod. And what is it? What exactly is going to be contained in this config file? Let's open up uh, our mod settings. Okay, so we have tweaks galore mod settings already open. Um, in here, uh, you can see that I've checked some things on. So all of these selections that I've made that are not the default, um, that's what's being stored in that config file. And so these are things that I pretty much set these every single time I play. Uh, so I, I would like to just preserve those config files. Uh, instead of having to redo those settings if I were to like uninstall and reinstall my game or lose my config files or something. So that's something that you might want to take a look at. You don't necessarily need to save all of these, right? If you're doing different types of modded playthroughs pretty regularly, um, you might not have all of these mods installed for your next playthrough. Um, 
let's find that again. Let's grab it. Let's paste it. Uh, and it can be a problem uh, if you have a bunch of config files in here for mods that don't exist. You know, these config files are telling the game, hey, set this setting for the game. So if you've ever had an error message and the error message is talking about a mod that you don't even have installed in your current playthrough, it might be because you still have the config file for that mod. So the reason that I back up this entire folder in between playthroughs is because I delete everything in here in between playthroughs. So I will turn off all my mods. I'll unsubscribe to the vast majority of them. Uh, I will select all of this and I'll just delete it after I'm done with the playthrough. Um, and then when you restart the game, uh, well, when you turn the, like, start the game up for the first time after doing something like that, some of these folders will be back. Um, the config folder will be back with at least preferences and key preferences in it. Um, and then, you know, if we were starting with a blank config folder or if I had blown all my config files away, um, I could pop in here, delete what's currently in here, copy and paste these over, and I'd have my resolution and sound settings back. I'd have my hotkeys back. Um, and then when I reinstalled Tweaks Galore, I would have those settings uh, available to me that I had saved previously. Um, so that's pretty much, and that's what I do to kind of like back up my game. And that's some of the reasoning why I'm like specifically grabbing certain things. Um, you might not have all of these folders. Some of them are specific to particular mods, like Rocket Man has some settings that it stores in a folder in here. Uh, I assume this is from Vanilla Expanded Androids. Um, it, Probably if we had like an Android project running in the game, there might be a file in here that says, hey, you're, it's at this percent with these settings. Uh, we're not currently printing an Android, though. Uh, other folders that are kind of like pretty notable is planning. Uh, so here are all the plans that we've made with extended planning. We have the Priya mothership, the Horizon refit, drop ships, drone ships, the core ship. Um, so... This is where you can go to kind of grab your backup plans. This is also where we could go and insert plans that you had previously saved. That way they're available to you in your playthrough. Anyhow, I think that's going to be it for this video today. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions about like backing up your games or um, if there are other topics that you guys would like me to cover in a how-to. Uh, as always, until next time, have a good one. Bye.